In this video, we'll take a look at how to add an appointment into the Salon Iris iPad app. We'll start from the appointment book screen. You can click onto the time slot that you would like to add the appointment for. You'll be shown an appointment ticket. You have a few different options from here. You can choose from an existing client, walk-in, or we can add a new client. In this case, I'm going to select existing client. You can either scroll through the client list and find the client, or you can type in the client's name and find them that way. Click on the plus button that says add a service. This would be the service that the client is coming in for. By selecting the service, that service is now added to their ticket. If you need to add additional services, go ahead and do so. There's also an option to add a product, and at this point, you may not know if they would like to purchase any products. But you can always come back into this ticket later and add a product on if they want to purchase one at checkout. But for now, we'll skip adding a product. You also have an option to add notes if you wish. Now we'll tap on Book Appointment. This will schedule the appointment and add it to the appointment book. The appointment or the ticket is now created and you can see it here from the appointment book screen. Let's say it's a little bit later, the customers come in and they're ready to check out. What we'll do is click on to the appointment and in this window we can choose from a few different options. If the customer has decided to purchase any products, you could go ahead and add them on now, or if they've added on any additional services, you could add those from here too. Once you're done making changes, go ahead and click on check out. We see the total for the ticket, and there's also an option for a tip. If you need to add a tip to this ticket, go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and select the customer's payment method, and then click on to complete transaction. And if the customer would like an email receipt, you can do that as well. And you can either rebook the client or return to the calendar. We can now see that the appointment has been closed out.